Hi, thanks for stopping by. In this Tinkering project I'm adding another upgrade to my K40 laser. This time it's a new catch grill for the laser bed. Let me show you how. One of the fundamental design problems with the K40 laser is the cavity underneath the laser bed. Once you cut something it invariably drops into that cavity and bounces out of the way into the corners. So I'm going to try and put a stop to that. First by taking a length of aluminium U-section I got from the Blue Hardware Store, cutting it down to 300mm in length and drilling a 5mm hole in each end. To support the piece across the hole in the drill press I'm using an off-cut piece of plywood. That should also be enough to stop it bending too. With that done, here are the rest of the parts I'm using. To assemble things, a 20mm M5 bolt goes into the hole I just drilled and is held in place with a nut. A spanner and socket will fasten that securely. Next, a 30mm M5 joint nut is screwed into another M5 bolt. This is also tightened in place. Finally, the joint nut is loosely screwed onto the bolt that's protruding from the U section. With that done on both ends we have one support shelf for the grill and here's another one I made earlier. To fit these supports I manoeuvred them into the lower part of the frame and held them across the opening. Underneath I unscrewed the joint nut and that closed the gap between the bolt and the base of the machine holding it tightly in place. To make the grill itself I traced the outside dimensions of the frame on the laser bed and transferred them to this aluminium sheet that I also picked up from the Blue Hardware Store. This gives me plenty of scope for trimming later. Speaking of which, this aluminium cuts really easy with a pair of tin snips. I then went back and measured the inside dimensions of the frame and used that to mark cutouts in the corners. Now at this point you could just make a basket and hang that into the frame by folding these tabs into an S shape. You just have to be really accurate with those folds and make sure that the bottom of the basket sits level with the frame. I chose to fold up just the shorter sides and since I don't have a metal break I improvised with these three pieces of MDF that I pre-cut to use with the laser anyway. I laid two of the pieces on the mat lining up the fold line and the metal where the two pieces meet. Next I put a third piece over the top and line that up with the fold too. Finally, while firmly holding this sandwich together, I could rotate the free piece of MDF up and fold that metal flap into position. This gives me a certain amount of rigidity through that direction in the grill. Then, with a little persuasion and trimming in certain areas, I was able to fit the grill into the frame. The shorter tabs that I folded face downwards into the cavity so they don't interfere with the spring clamp and the long ones fit over the sides of the U section and under the edge of the frame. This is important and makes use of the frame to hold the grill flat in the X axis. The folded tabs keep the grill flat in the Y axis. All of this is pressed up against the bottom of the frame so with all things being equal we should have a grill that's level relative to the rest of the machine. As a bonus this doesn't stop me from using the spring loaded clamping mechanism so I can still firmly secure things in place if I want or I can just drop them directly onto the grill. For now this grill is just what I need to stop things from disappearing into the underbelly of the laser. The last thing I want to be doing is reaching in and finding those pieces that have disappeared into the corners. Keeping your hands out of a machine like this is very important. You don't want to accidentally happen upon an electrically live surface.
in time I will be replacing the whole frame that sits under the XY carriage of the laser. But for now, I do have some projects that need this to stay just the way it is. If you'd like to know when the content for those projects is uploaded, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell icon to be called when they arrive. Don't forget, as well as leaving a comment down below, you can also contact me on social media if you have any questions about this or any other project. My Patreon page is also open and there's a link to that in the description. If you'd like to support me in that way, you'll get early access to all my content in return. But that's it for this time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.